uh, hey YouTube, today what we're gonna do is learn how to make a flag basically on Cinema 4D. Now I've seen a lot of tutorials on Cinema 4D and none of them really show how to make a flag the correct way, the right way to do it. They basically show uh, the basic way to do it. Now for the right way to do it, you're gonna need uh, the cloth uh, simulator. Um, yeah, it's in simulation cloth. If you have cloth, that means you're gonna be able to do it <laughs> and uh, for R11 I don't know what modules um, so first things first um, we're just gonna get a plane okay and make it actually make it plus Z alright and we are gonna make a rectangle because that's the shape of a that's the shape of a flag right let's pull it up Or you could do a, a triangle for uh, you know one of those pirate flags. So we're not gonna put any material to it uh, today, but uh, we're just gonna show how to make a flag. So after you done, you're gonna click uh, make editable or this button, and that's gonna make it editable and go in here and it's editable. So we're gonna go into the vertex uh, menu and get the. Uh, this selection tool right here, and we're gonna select one of the edges. Right? Okay, now don't worry. Now, right click on your plane, go to um, cloth tags, and click cloth. Click on the cloth tag, go to dresser, and cl uh, see fixed points. Click set. That makes those points not move. So basically, now those points will not move. Let's switch back to normal thing and go back to our object menu. Now let's uh, let's play this. As you can see, our basic cloth dynamics does not have self collision. That means it's gonna go through it, it itself. So we're gonna need to fix that. So we're gonna go to our cloth dynamics again. I think it's in. I forgot where it is. It's an expert. Yeah, go to expert and click self collision. And let's try this again. So now. Hopefully, hopefully, it won't go through it. Let me see it one more time. Did it just go? Uh, it's still doing it. So what we're going to do is... So if your class is still going... Uh, inside, I mean, it's still uh, doing the self collision thing uh, like mine. Press Control and press D. This is gonna uh, come into your Cinema 4D document settings. Uh, go to Dynamics. I think it's an expert. Yep. Uh, wait. Yeah. Steps per frame. Turn it up to something like 20. And this is gonna slow down a little bit. Still okay, much better, but not still not working. Come on, come on. This has got to be better. Okay, now it's going around. Okay, now that's much better. Um, but because it doesn't have any goddamn uh, wind, <laughs> see, it's just falling on itself. See, that's the problem. That's the main problem here. So we're gonna go to forces and. Uh, as you can see our uh, flag the wind should be blowing from this way to this way so we're gonna look at what axis that is that's the red axis right it's pointing from this way to this way and that's the x-axis right here you can see it okay and so we're gonna click on our little thing go to forces and turn the x-axis thing up so let's turn it up to 10 and turn the one strength up to five, turbulence up to two or anything you want. Let's let's see how it works. Really not working that much. So we're gonna turn it up even more on the wind direction strength. On the Z axis we're just gonna do zero. And one strength, come on, come on, come on. Ten, okay no. Fifty. 
Okay, that's a little too high. <laughs> let's do like 20 and let's turn our uh, this up to as much as we want because I don't know. Let's see how, how long it goes. See, first, uh, uh, first it's going to fall on itself and then it's just going to kind of lay out. Okay, we got our basic flag, right? Except for it's stretching a lot and it's not really, you know, looking that good. So we're going to turn our flexion down to like, I don't know, 5%. It's going to top stop it from flexing a lot, hopefully. See, see, now it's not go even going outside the frame. Oh, please don't go outside the frame. <laughs> okay, uh, let's turn it up to like one. I mean down to like one. Let's go one more time. Okay, that's that's just weird. Stiffness friction bounce. You're gonna try to bounce down a lot. This is basically uh, messing with stuff. That's how you're gonna get your stuff right. Okay. You know what? Let's go to our forces and turn the turbulence. Huh? The turbulence is down. Maybe the wind should be like 15 or something. Come on. It's always kind of going down, so we're going to turn the gravity kind of down just a little. Actually, turn it up a little bit. More like negative 5 should do it. And our wind direction on the y axis just turn it up to like 3. Okay? Let's try it one more time. Work, baby, work. Okay, now we have a couple of problems with that. Main thing being it's kind of too edgy, and uh, you know what? It's not self colliding. That's a good thing. Um, resistance. Now, I think, I'm not too sure. Let's turn this up a little and see what happens because this is all about uh, experimenting with this, and uh, you know looking pretty good so one thing I lear I'm learning from this is when you make your flag you want to make it a little bit um, what's it called what's the right word smaller <laughs> than uh, you actually want to want it to be See, the wind is not stable at all. That's what's pissing me off. Come on, work, work, work. Okay, I think we kind of got it. Alright, this, 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 this is looking pretty good, I guess, in my opinion. Um, at, at least, at least for this tutorial, because I don't want it to be too long. Um, basically, what you're going to do is mess with these settings until you get the right one. I just want to show you how to do the rest right now. You're going to get uh, hyper nerves and just put it in here. Alright, now you have your hyper nerves, and you don't want to smooth it too much. Just, just a, like two is fine. Okay, see how it looks. See how it looks right now. It's freaking amazing. Like I said, and uh, yeah. 
So that's how you do your basic cloth. But you're gonna need to get the forces really right for this. Um, what I'm gonna do now is make basically make a decent flag stick, I guess. Let me try. Flag pole, not a flag stick. I'm sorry about that. I'm sure there's someone in the comment section correcting me about that. That always happens. Okay, come on. So, here we go. And we basically have our flag. And, um, let's look at it. There. And it's gonna go, it's gonna keep going. Yeah, I know my wind system isn't perfect, but what are you gonna do? I don't know much about how the wind system works. If anyone knows, please tell me. Uh, I know about cloth, that's the tutorial I was doing. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want to add some sort of thing to this, let's, let's, you know what? Let's make the Japanese flag, at least I'll try to in here and like how are you gonna make the Japanese flag inside a goddamn uh doo -doo 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 -doo. now do you see how I'm gonna make it <laughs> using the gradient do wow wow Kind of did, kind of didn't. Stretched out. You know what? I'm just gonna click the texture. Go to our texture mode. Scale to. Forgot how to control the texture, but there was a way. Yeah, instead of UV mapping, let's do cubic. About that. Oh my god, I forgot again. Okay, here we go. Oops. Oh god dang it. Oh, come on. Work. Okay, hopefully it worked. Oh, Dang it. Hate when this happens. Alright, it's so cubic. Let's try flat. Yeah, that really worked. Uh, I think it's the scale. Could it be? Nope, it's not the scale. Uh, let me try cubic, cylindrical. Flat, frontal, spatial, and this is literally UV mapping. It's great. I'm sorry, but this is. You know what? Let's try this. Yeah, you just can't do it. Sorry. But, Japan, usually you should just change your flag to an oval. I'm just saying. Looks much cooler. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, let's see how we're gonna render it. Ambient occlusion. Should we do we need it really? And as for the, you know what? Actually, kind of do close edges. Global illumination. Let's add a light. 
object mode. Da, 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 da. Hell, hell, Dufinia. Who knows that song? I bet about like three people in the audience knows that song. Audience? I don't have an audience. It's like 30 subscribers. But I still love them. In a crazy way. Okay, and here we go. Turn this up, and boom. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Please look a little bit good. <laughs> bad just a couple of adjustments for example the specular we need to get rid of it because uh, if you didn't know this if you're trying to make cloth material basically I don't mean like cloth as in cloth object but I mean material that looks like a cloth you shouldn't really use specular because uh, cloth absorbs more light da -na 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 -na. Yeah, so that's how you make a flag. Thank you guys for watching. This has been HD Video Tuts. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.